Hey, what's up, guys? Zane here, and um, bring you guys another episode of Zane Talks. I know it's been a super long time since I last did one of these. <laughs> uh, I just don't want to have my channel just sit here and not do anything for like months at a time. So I'm just gonna try and get these out as often as I can because I mean they're quick and easy to do, and um, I can just pop them out in my free time. So yeah, pretty much in this episode, I'm just gonna be talking about why I stopped editing Call of Duty. Um, it's a question that's often asked me like on Skype or whatever. Um, I pretty much stopped editing Call of Duty because I mean I just got bored with it. Like I've been editing COD for over three years and it's just all good things have to come to an end. <laughs> At least that's just my mentality for a lot of things. And um, I mean it's just like you do the same things for a long time and sure you may enjoy it or whatever but <clears throat> for me I just I want to move on and do other things like which is what I've been doing so far with like all my animations or whatever and um yeah it's just I don't know like when I was really starting to feel like it might be the end of like my Call of Duty career or whatever it was probably like the beginning of last year like I was trying to crank out edits and like trying to put in work with my channel but I just wasn't filming anymore like I didn't have that passion like I used to because before I could just you know get some clips do some 2d work and bam crank out an edit within like 12 hours and I was like super active I mean you guys were the ones that have been with me since like day one know that I was always cranking out videos like all the time and no, no, just as time went on, like, it just stopped being fun, like, I don't know, just something about editing clips and syncing them together and doing the 2D work and just, like, it just started to get redundant and, like, I wasn't really enjoying myself anymore like I used to. And, I don't know, just over time, like, I just didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> That's why it took me so long to do, um, Naibu 3, like, the teaser trailer for that edit came out like, what was it, February sometime, somewhere around there. And the actual edit didn't come out till, what, uh, July? I mean, I think that's when it came out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, like it was super far away. <laughs> and like usually people would, like expect the edit to come out like a month or two later, but it got delayed by like four months. And I mean, I just didn't want to work on it. like. Every time I looked at Sony Vegas and Call of Duty clips, I was just like, uh, what the hell am I doing? And then I'd just close out the program and move on. And then I got my job, which, I mean, as you guys know, I do, like, video editing work for my university. And pretty much working on that stuff. And then coming home to wanting to edit stuff as well was just, ugh. <laughs> like, I didn't want to do it, like, at all. And, because, I mean, like spending all day working on videos and then to come home and to work on your own videos after you just got done doing it for eight hours it's just really draining and I didn't really see the worth of editing Call of Duty anymore over the work that I was doing for my university and yeah it's just it <laughs> took its toll and then after and well not after a while but also like the way the community has been like degrading as the years and the months go by just really killed my motivation <clears throat> oh, <dang. laughs> lose my voice a little bit but um yeah like it just killed my motivation because back in the day like one of my key motivations was like being on top of like everything like i know i don't take the claim of being best biggest editor ever i mean that's not something for me to claim <clears throat> that's for other people to worry about but like I tried to you know strive for that, and I had you know other editors around me that I could compete with and like see like when they put out an edit I'm like oh dang I gotta one up them so you know that kind of like built into my pride and like my wanting to edit more Call of Duty clips because I wanted to be better than them and yeah like that just um, that kind of gave me like a nice driving force to keep pushing forward but, like as more <clears throat> like editors and stuff stopped doing their thing or whatever like editors from my generation like I just 
kind of saw that and was just eh, like, I don't see the point of really trying to do editing anymore, like for Call of Duty, because there was no more like motivation for me to do it. Since everybody else was stopping, like, why the heck was I still doing it? Plus, I didn't want to like milk this for years and years, you know, trying to stay in the community. Oh yeah, I'm still relevant. I'm still around. Cause I mean, I've had my time, you know. <laughs> Gotta let the new the new boys get their their time in showbiz or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's just just a lot of things that kind of built up to me not wanting to edit Call of Duty anymore. And yeah, like I, a lot of times I get asked, like, will I ever come back? to Call of Duty and I mean the answer is no <laughs> it's just one of those things where I'm, I just I'm done you know like I've I've ridden that train I've gotten off and I'm ready for the next journey in my life and the other directions that I want to take my channel in and I mean I'm still going to be based on editing obviously because I mean <clears throat> I can't really stop editing that's it's like a part of me you know I've been editing for eight years now, <laughs> which is insane. Like, not many people my age can say that they've been video editing for eight years. And yeah, it's just, it's something I'll never stop doing. But when it came to Call of Duty, like I, I had to end that and really try to push myself forward in other directions and see if I could really improve myself as an editor. <clears throat> and I mean, that also goes like applies to me being Vegas only as well. I wanted to expand my horizons and really grow as an editor and see what else I could do with other programs. And uh, yeah, it's just, just a lot of things that went on for me not wanting to edit Call of Duty anymore. And like I said, I loved it <laughs> every minute of it when I was you know, doing my thing with Call of Duty. Like I was able to do stuff for Optic Nation. I got uploaded on a crap ton of community channels. I, amassed 4,000 subscribers and like that's all thanks to you guys and like and I learned a lot you know <clears throat> from being Vegas only and editing Call of Duty and uh, yeah it's just it was a great opportunity for me to grow and I had to move on so I hope that answers a lot of the questions out there to why I stopped editing Call of Duty almost a year ago and um, yeah so it's been a Another episode of Zane Talks. I like so I'm gonna try to get these out more often <laughs> since like they don't take a lot of time to do. And <clears throat> Jesus, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> but like they don't take a lot of time to do, and I can usually just crank them out when I have that little that little window of opportunity in between my classes and work. So yeah, if you guys want me to talk about anything else specifically. Let me know in the comments, and um, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.